did I think I'd be the second African-American or at the time be the only woman on the trading floor? No, I mean, I didn't think that there were gonna be a lot of women, but I didn't know how few or the only. Honestly, one of the reasons is fear. It's a fear factor. It's, can I stand up to these men? Can I actually have a voice? Will they mansplain to me? Will I actually have a seat at the table? CTV, you think, oh, like Wolf of Wall Street, they're very aggressive, very alpha male, and obviously there are some types of personalities on the trading floor, but as a whole, um, the men, they want you to do well, they want me to do well, and they're nice, and I annoy them by asking a thousand and one questions daily, and they answer every last one. But as I got to know the men on the trading floor and, and know that they're dads, they're husbands, and they care about my well-being, and I became very comfortable. I'm one of the guys. <laughs> guess this in a million years to be a history maker, a trailblazer. I knew I wanted to be in New York, but to say Wall Street, I would have probably laughed because I had zero interest in finance. But now that I, I am here, I do love the world of finance. To hear things like me being able to break a glass ceiling and it's 2016 when I joined the floor and to know that the only other trader woman that was on the floor, African American, I think it was in 2001, 2011. That's a big gap difference. And even still, those achievements in 2000 anything, it's crazy. But I think it plays on both sides. If you are in an affluent area and you grow up with all white men, how are you going to reach out to minority women? And if you're a minority woman, probably not in an affluent area, how are you gonna reach out to those men? So I think that there definitely needs to be more focused on trying to go out into more diverse areas and being open-minded. I don't know if it's an exchange problem or if it's just a lack of knowledge. There are way more fearless women than just me. I am not an anomaly. Anybody can be a fearless girl or a guy. I want to continue to be a voice for millennials. I want them to be educated on the world of finance. I can really appreciate what my story means to other young women or even executive women to this day. So I'm very grateful for where I'm at.